hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be making this very cute giraffe as you can see okay so what you're gonna need is uh you're gonna need a uh, brown yarn and yellow yarn it's a little bit tall as you can see so and also i use a crochet hook which is i use 3.5 millimeters okay so if you want i don't know if you can see it on camera yeah 3.5 millimeters so if you want a bigger giraffe you can use a smaller cro i mean you can use a big crochet hook and if you want a much smaller one you can use a small crochet hook okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and for the head uh, we're going to start with the brown color which is the mouth color so we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and six okay okay so after that uh in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to increase in the first stitch okay so do two single crochets okay and then we're going to continue increasing in all the other stitches okay so you're going to continue increasing all the way round okay so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet then increase and then keep repeating that all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and keep repeating that around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and increase okay so continue with the same pattern all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh, in our fifth row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and keep repeating that all the way around for a total of 30 stitches Okay, so we're going to do a single crochet, one, single crochet, two, three, and then increase. And then we're going to keep repeating that, so three single crochet. And then increase. okay so continue with that pattern all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our sixth row we're going to start by doing nine single crochets first okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then after the nine single crochets in the next stitch we are going to do four double crochets so we are going to start, uh, we are making the nostrils on this row and the next row okay so we're going to do four double crochets uh in the next stitch 
So we're going to do double crochet. One. Okay, and then in the same stitch, do double crochet. Two. Okay, and then in the same stitch, you do again double crochet. Three. And then you're going to do one more double crochet in that same stitch. So double crochet four. Okay, and then after that, you're going to do nine single crochets again. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then again in the next stitch, we are going to do four double crochets in the same stitch. So we're going to do double crochet one, okay, double crochet two, double crochet. Three. Okay, so remember we are doing all these double crochets in the same stitch and then double crochet four Okay, and then after you're done with that uh, in the remaining ten stitches You're going to do single crochet all the way round. Okay, so after that now we have a total of 36 stitches Okay, so in our next round which is round seven we're going to start by doing uh, nine single crochets okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then after that uh in the next stitches we are going to do four single crochets together okay so we're going to decrease four stitches together so i'm going to go in the uh, next stitch and pull through and then go in the next stitch and pull through okay go in the third stitch pull through and the fourth stitch and pull through okay so now i have one two three four five i have five loops on my hook so and then you're going to pull through all the five loops together like that okay so that is one nostril formed okay and then after that uh in the next nine uh, in the next nine stitches we're going to do single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then we're going to decrease again four stitches together Okay, so we're going to go in the first in the next stitch again pull through go in the second stitch pull through go in the third stitch and then pull through and now the fourth stitch and pull through and then we're going to pull through all the loops together Okay, so after that, uh, in the remaining 10 stitches, you're going to do single crochet all the way. So we'll have a total of 30 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next two rows, which is row 8 and row 9, we're going to do single crochet in each row all the way around for a total of 30 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 9th row so that we start the 10th row together. Okay, so after you're done uh, with the ninth row, this is how it should look like. So after that, you're going to change to the yellow yarn. And after that, uh, in our tenth row, 
we're going to start by doing a uh, three single crochet then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so we're going to do again three single crochet okay and then decrease Okay, so keep repeating that all the way around for a total of uh, 24 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next four rows, which is from row 11 until row 14, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 14th row, so that we start the 15th row together. Okay, so after we're done with the 14th row, uh, in our 15th row, we're going to start by doing 11 single crochets. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so continue until you have 11 single crochets. Okay, so after 11 single crochets, we are going to increase in the next stitch. So we're going to increase. Okay, and then after increasing, we're going to do four single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four okay and then after that we're going to increase again okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining seven stitches so do single crochet single crochet okay so all the way around okay so after that uh, in our 16th row we're going to start by doing five single crochets Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and then after five single crochets, uh, we are going to increase four times, so we're going to do increase. In the first stitch and then increase the second time and then increase again the third time and again increase the fourth time okay and then after that we are going to do 12 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three okay so repeat until you have 12 single crochets okay so after the 12 single crochets we're going to increase again four times so we're going to increase one and then increase the second time And then again increase the third time and increase the fourth time and then in the last stitch we're going to do single crochet okay so we'll have a total of 34 stitches okay so after that uh, in our round 17 we're going to start by doing 16 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four. Okay, so continue until you have 16 single crochets. OK, 
okay so after the 16 single crochets we are going to increase in the next stitch okay so increase okay and then after that we're going to do six single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six okay and then after the six single crochet we're going to increase again going to increase and then finally in the remaining 10 stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way round so we have a total of 36 stitches okay so after that uh, in our 17th row we're going to start by doing 16 single crochets first so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have 16 single crochets okay so after that uh, in our 18th row we're going to start by doing 17 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have 17 single crochets so after the 17 single crochets then in the next stitch we are going to increase okay so we're going to do an increase and then in the next six stitches we're going to do single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six okay and then after the six single crochets we're going to increase again we're going to do an increase okay and then after that in the remaining 11 stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way so you'll have a total of 38 stitches Okay, so after you've done it that, uh, in the next six rows, which is from row 19 until row 24, we're going to do single crochet all the way across in each row for a total of 38 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 24th row so that we start the 25th row together. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, this is how uh, our giraffe should look like. Okay, so in our next row, which is our 25th row, we're going to start by doing two single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two and then we're going to decrease two times okay so we're going to do first decrease and second decrease okay and then after that we are going to do single crochet all the way around okay so we'll have a total of 36 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next two rows which is row 26 and row 27 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 27th row so that we start the 28th row together Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 28th row, we're going to do four single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, and then decrease. And then you're going to keep repeating that so for single crochet okay and then decrease okay so keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh in our 29th row we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five 
two, three, and then decrease. Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that. So three single crochet, decrease all the way round. Okay, so after you're done with that row, now we're going to start stuffing and make sure you start firmly because we are almost finished with the head now. Okay, so now in our 38th row, we're going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, and then single crochet, two, and decrease. Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that. So two single crochet and decrease. Okay, so repeat all the way round. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 31st row, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then decrease. And then you're going to keep repeating that. So single crochet and decrease. Okay, so finish all the way round. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, make sure you start fully uh, because this is our last row. So in the last row, we're going to decrease all the way around. So we're going to decrease. And then continue decreasing all the way around. So you're going to decrease six times. Okay, so you're going to decrease all the way around. Okay, so after you're done decreasing all the way, I'm going to go to the next stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to cut my yarn and then do the finishing. Okay, so to do the finishing to close this gap, I like to go in the next stitch and continue pulling my yarn through and Till we have uh, no gap left okay so I'm going to continue pulling my yarn and then go also in the next stitch and pull the yarn through okay and then continue like that until you have no uh, no gap left at the top okay and then when I'm done with that I go anywhere uh, in any stitch and then I'm going to pull the yarn all the way through to make a knit pull the yarn and then cut it okay so that's it guys so as you can see that's how it looks like the finishing so this is going to be the upper side okay so now i'm going to show you how to make the body okay so now we're going to start making the body and for the body we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so i already did that so now in our second round we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so i'm going to go in the next uh, stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then i'm going to continue increasing all the way around so increase increase okay so continue increasing all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase And we're going to continue repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so continue repeating that all the way round 
Okay, so after you've done with that, uh, in our fourth row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so do single crochet and then we'll start the fifth row together. Okay, so after that, uh, in our fifth row, uh, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do two single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating that. So two single crochet and increase. Okay, so keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our sixth row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so do single crochet all the way around and then we'll start the next row together. Okay, so after that, uh, in our seventh row, we're going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat all around for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, Two, three, and then increase, and then you're going to keep repeating that. So three single crochet, and then increase. Okay, so repeat that all the way round. Okay, so after that, uh, in our eighth row. We're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 30 stitches okay so do single crochet all the way around and then we'll do the ninth row together okay so now in our ninth row uh, we're going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase and then you're going to keep repeating that so for a single crochet and then increase okay so repeat that all the way round Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next nine rows, which is from row 10 until row 18, uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 36 stitches in each row. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with the eighth row or after nine rows, uh, and then we'll start the 19th row together. Okay, so after we're done with the 18th row this is how it should look like so in our 19th row uh, we're going to start by decreasing first okay so we're going to decrease okay and then after decreasing we're going to do single crochet in the remaining 33 stitches so we'll have a total of 34 stitches okay so do single crochet all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in the next three rows which is from row 20 until row 22 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 35 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 22nd row so that we start the 23rd row together okay so after you're done in, with the 22nd row 
in our 23rd row we are again going to start by decreasing and then do single crochet all the way round okay so we're going to decrease first okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining 33 stitches so we'll have a total of 34 stitches okay so do single crochet all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh in the next two rows which is row 24 and 25 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 34 stitches in each row so i'll see when you're done with the 25th row so that we start the 26th row together okay so after you're done with that uh in our 26th row we're going to start by decreasing and then we're going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 33 stitches so we're going to decrease first and then you're going to do single crochet in the remaining 32 stitches okay so do single crochet all the way around okay so after that uh in our 27th row we're going to do single crochet all the way across until the end for a total of 33 stitches okay so do single crochet all the way and then we start the 28th row together okay so after you're done with that uh in our 28th row we're going to start by decreasing again so we're going to decrease okay and then after that we are going to do single crochet in the remaining 31 stitches so we're going to have a total of 32 stitches so you're going to continue to do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way across okay so after you're done with that uh in our 29th row we're going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 32 stitches so do single crochet all the way and then we're going to start the uh, 30th row together okay so after that um, for the next eight rows we're going to keep repeating the same pattern so in all the eight rows we're going to start by decreasing at the end and then do single crochet all the way across so i'll show you for the next two rows then you can do the other rows okay so uh in the 30th row we are going to decrease at the very end okay and then for the remaining 30 stitches we're going to do single crochet all the way across so we'll have a total of 31 stitches so we're going to continue by doing single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way around okay, so after you're done with the 30th row uh in our 31st row we are again going to continue doing same like uh, the previous row so we're going to decrease again and then we're going to do single crochet all the way across uh, for the remaining 29 stitches so you have a total of 30 stitches okay so you're going to continue like that until you get to the 37th row okay so after you're done with row 37 then we'll do the 38th row together okay so in all the remaining in all the remaining seven rows uh don't forget to decrease first at the end at the beginning and then do single crochet all the way across and then in all the other rows so in our 37th row we'll have a total of 24 stitches okay so i'll see you after you're done with the 37th row so that we do the 38th row together okay so after you're done with the 37th row this is how it should look like so now uh we're going to start with the 38th row okay so by now you have 24 stitches so in our 38th row you're going to do uh two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of uh 18 stitches Okay, so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay 
okay so continue repeating all the way round okay so remember to keep stuffing your doll because we are almost finished okay so now uh, in our 39th row we are going to do single crochet and then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease and then we're going uh, to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so keep repeating that all the way across for a total of 12 stitches okay so now you're going to start fully so this is how it should look like so it should have like kind of a curve on top so this is going to be our lower part the part where we decreased as you can see okay so now in our last row we are going to decrease all the way around uh, for a total of six stitches okay so we're going to so we're going to keep uh, to decrease so we're going to do a decrease and then we're going to keep decreasing all the way across so decrease okay so decrease all the way around and then when you get to the end cut your yarn long enough and do the finishing and then after that i'll show you how to make the neck <laughs> 